the number one problem for any AI tool that is currently in the market to solve is the ability to understand the context of my question. I'll give you a straight example for that. When I say I'm a big fan of Virat Kohli or I'm a big fan of Messi, I don't mean to say that I'm a ceiling fan. I just want to put the context here that, hey, I admire these people. I love to watch when they are playing. So this ability to understand the context is super important. And if you don't have the context, there is nothing that AI is doing super magical. Reduce down the context timing of it. When I ask you a question which is specifically for Python code and my challenges are with the Python code, you need to understand that, hey, my context is in the Python context and give me the suggestion based on only that. And not only that, the research work that I'm doing for a special open source project, their documentation, give me suggestion only from that. That is a true AI magic that can speed up my productivity. So the word for today, the video discussion is the context. And yes, there is a company which is solving it. It's freely available for every developer. It's like a GitHub Copilot, but I don't enjoy GitHub Copilot. I'll tell you more about that. Hey there, everyone. My name is Itesh and I make coding videos and I talk a lot about uh, a whole lot that happens in the developer ecosystem, the tech, pro tech product that gets launched and that I enjoy. And we're planning something really exciting from the next week. Uh, regular content on that and content that you have never seen. Uh, yes, a lot of large scaling application building scaling tech discussion is coming up. So in case you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. And now let's come back on to our keyword that I would like to bring your attention on. So this is the keyword, context. If you don't understand the context, there is nothing that will impress me here. You need to understand the context of the situation and context can differ quite a lot. In case you are thinking the context simply means that, hey, uh, context means if I'm making a JS app or JavaScript app or a TypeScript app, you understand that. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. Let's just say I'm using AppWrite or let's just say I'm working on uh, databases, which is Postgres, and I'm researching some of the blog. So all these blogs, all these links, all those exact documentation of that product should also be my context. And you give me suggestion based on that. That would be true ideal for that. Now, I do use a lot of chat apps. Uh, so I have this chat GPT app, but there is no way I can add my context. I can add my files here that, hey, this is my whole folder. Uh, you go ahead and work on with that but not really. It doesn't give me that level of code suggestion. This is where one of my old friends, and yes, they have been doing a great work, have released a product which is absolutely free for developers. And yes, they do charge for the corporates and all these big tech organization. But as an individual developer, we can absolutely use it for free. I've been using it. I've, I've been using it for really, really long. So let me walk you through how they do it. And actually, there is a really nice uh, article that they have written. And we'll walk through with that, that what is exactly the problem that they're solving and you will be loving it. Let me first give you a demo of what is possible with this and how you can actually use it. So this is the setup that you can do. So this is pieces. You can just have it installed and you can just get it open and just launch it up here. And what you can do is inside this, just click on it and there's a co-pilot chat. So you can capture the context as well. So you can just click on it. Uh, I do a lot of research work, a lot of uh, NPM repositories and a lot of articles that I read, it captures the context of all of it and gives me suggestions based on that. So if I go ahead and look for the Copilot chats, what I can do is I can give them the context. I can click on this button here and I can add my files. I can add my folder. So I've added one folder here. This is, you can see the Chai backend. And now it will give me suggestion based on all the websites that I've mentioned, all the research paper that I've mentioned and all the current folder that I've mentioned. And it will it will be able to understand my context of it. And this is my personalized uh, AI friend or a fellow. And I can ask him a question like recently, um, I went on to a trip to Bangalore. Uh, it was quite a while that I've recorded the video. So I just came back, uh, shared the folder. Hey, this is the folder. And I asked it, uh, can you share the tech stack for the current project? It shared, hey, uh, the tech stack uh, for your current project appears to be a complex uh, backend system similar to YouTube includes the following tech, Node.js, Express, Mongo, JWT, Bcrypt. So it gives me an idea what it's been doing. It also gives you that what you have been doing currently. So all the collaborations, project, context management, uh, hey, this is this is a lot that you can go. And you can even ask more questions regarding that, that hey, this is the error that I'm getting. Help me to solve this error. It understands the context. And the best part is, 
that I can just keep on giving uh, websites as well. So I can link up the website, for example, if I'm working with the app, right, or I'm learning something from a database or anything like that, I can just go ahead and give it that website and it can precisely read the entire documentation of that website and give me relevant feedback as well as suggestion on that. I think that's really nice. Even you can add messages as well. So there's the Slack conversation or something. In case you want to go ahead and do this, you can do this. A lot of corporates are loving it because it keeps everything on your system. It's an on-device AI. I think this is the future where things are going on and I would love to have this one uh, more being evolved and I would love to see more enhancement that it can do. So everything stays on my system, nothing goes that. And the best part is you can choose what uh, AI you want to use. I'm currently using ChatGPT4 Turbo, uh, but if you don't like it, you can switch to Gemini, just one click. I've already mentioned that once on the channel and you can use on device. So if you want Mistral to be used or you want to use Llama, Code Llama, just click on it. It needs to have, it gives you all the things that, hey, which one you want to use and how you want to go with that, you can just try that. So Mistral is there, you can just download it, it will set it up also. Everything is automatic. So this is where I think a lot of things will move in the direction where AI can understand the most important part of it, which is the context. The most important thing for me is the context. Don't give me vague suggestions. This is why a lot of people uninstall the GitHub Copilot. It's a good product. I'm not saying it's bad, it's a good product. But it gives, it was trained on like a whole lot of code. It, it doesn't understand my style of writing the code. It doesn't understand what exactly the project I'm working on, what exactly the research work I'm doing on. So that's there. And by the way, if you'll find them out, they recently raised a good round. So I'm planning to bring Savo in for a live stream. Uh, tomorrow, I guess, uh, I'll show you up in the Discord notification. In case you haven't joined the Discord, there are well over 40,000 people now at our Discord. So go ahead and check it out. Uh, the link will be in the description section. So I'm bringing him in to share more insights about how we build this product. Not we, he built it and his team. <laughs> so uh, he's a good friend. That's why we. So we'll, it will be an open question answer round that, hey, what it takes to build. And by the way, they have built it all in the Dart. Like majority of it is in Dart. And you can check out there. They have a product launch as well. We'll be discussing with that. So I highly, highly recommend to watch out for the blog. So if you go onto the blog section of the pieces, there is a blog that Savo himself has written. This is the one, air, gap, air Gapped Approach to Maximize Developer Productivity. I think you should keep an eye on these kinds of articles. Like what's the vision behind it? What's the context behind it? Uh, how they are improving it on devices? How they are able to narrow down the context? Because I don't need a whole lot of information. I can do that myself. I can go to Stack Overflow, Google, have that. But if somebody is giving me suggestion, give me the suggestion based on the documentation on exactly the product or the tool that I'm using on. So I think this is really nice. So go ahead, read this out. I'll link this in the description section as well. And uh, keep the notification on for the Discord. Tomorrow we'll be bringing in uh, Savo for the live uh, on, the on the YouTube as well as on the Twitter spaces as well. We'll be having some fun conversation about uh, raising the rounds, uh, starting a product from the scratch, the ML space, the AI space, the contextual window space, the on-device engineering of the AI space, so many questions that I need to ask him and we'll be having fun on that. So this is all. This is all from my side about how things are shaping up and I highly, highly recommend all of you to keep an eye on the AI tools that's coming up. Don't settle down on just one model or on the one tool. Keep on exploring what more can be done. These are all here to increase our developer productivity. So if you're not keeping an eye, that means you're missing out the best tool that is available there and you can speed up your entire development process. Remember, the goal for a developer is not to be uh, picky on the tool, but actually to deliver the product. We are here not to battle about the tools. We are here to deliver a product that will shape up the life of people. The Uber can call the taxi, the food delivery app. So we are here to build those. And if these tools can help us to do it faster, I'm all in for that. So that is it. That is all from my side. And yes, uh, pushing. I'll be pushing out a lot more videos. They are being planned. And yes, expect more videos. So turn that notification bell also and uh, let's catch up in the next video.